and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. Dexter Morgan, no, no, De Dexter New Blood, episode five. I'm pretty sure it's episode five. Okay, now this one's starting to get crazy. So uh, uh, Dexter had the idea, or Jim had the idea that Harrison, and I, I kind of felt that Harrison did do it, but uh, he basically confronts his son and his son's like, no, he didn't. Of course, uh, if you think about it, a child would be reluctant to admit that he's done something wrong or done something like that. So it's like, it still could go either way. But Harrison feels like he, his father doesn't trust him. He wants to leave. He wants to get out. Um, yeah, and you finally get to see the the other serial killer, I guess the main villain of the story, the, the Matt's father, the guy who uh, Dexter first killed in the first episode. So him starting to fail in his usual routine. And yeah, I mean, the one thing that you, you learn early on is like, especially in the original Dexter show, is like when he couldn't complete anything the right way in his routine, he would just feel uncomfortable. When it wouldn't go the right way, it would just drive him up the wall. So here's another serial killer where it all goes wrong. And yeah, he feels so uncomfortable. He feels so messed up and it's actually pretty interesting. And it's amazing. It's, it is nice to see familiar faces return. I'll say that, but he is literally found out. He is, it's like, oh my gosh. It, I thought this would take a while to get to this point, but you can only cover up a secret for so much. Because yeah, I was like, everything they mentioned, I was like, there's no way this will hint at him. There is no way this will hint at him. There is no way this will hint at him. But with everyone getting a specific piece of the information and all going uh, uh, and then the hearing it all at once, all put together, it's like, okay, let's just search this. See what, see what the truth is. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I, I, I absolutely love Dexter work because him, him going against what he normally does for the father, to be as a father to the protection of his son. It, I just liked it. it. It really did try make me feel uncomfortable though that here he saved these saved these terrible kids who literally are taking joy in the fact that they were a part of the kill list. It, it was very uncomfortable. Like it, the fact that they showed that it was just like, oh, they had a picture of all the names on the door and it was like you have to, you're gonna have to have your name on here in order to come just like that was uncomfortable it's disgusting it's just like of course if i was in that situation i would turn around and walk it out but yeah harrison goes in and literally ods on some drugs that have been mixed improperly uh definitely not my type of scene but it was just like oh my gosh here he he feels his father uh, doesn't believe him his father doesn't have his back and just doesn't feel, feels like he's lost. So of course he was easily manipulated into taking that stuff because Harrison doesn't seem like the type who would, he likes to be in control. And yeah, it just took me for a loop that it was like, oh, well may maybe it's this father, you know, questioning him that made him want to go that route. But it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy with what's going on. I'm excited for the next one because I guess everyone's gonna know he's Dexter Morgan, and it's finally gonna be Dexter Morgan, not Jim Lindsay. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles!